Level 7 snipers. It's going to take ages to get that done. All right. Eliminate any enemy from 100 meters away with an AR platform. This is not needed for Kappa. Um, wet job part 5 is now done. Cool. Thanks, dude. All right. Sell the Tetris. Let me just fathom this for a second. Five, six. If we take the SKS. All right. All right, so this is about to finish another water. And then we still need sugars for that. All right, options. We can go lighthouse, try and do like long road, kill the rogues, overpopulation, drug trafficking. We just have to get over there. Uh, reconnaissance, go on the rooftops. Don't need to. No, we do need to do easy job part two. So we have a lot for Lighthouse and that's where Vertex is spawn as well. Alternatively, reserve, we've got safe corridor, no place for renegades, kill Glucker, gets us a weapon case, which would be handy. And what was the third map I was talking about? Woods. So if we go Woods, we go to try to kill Sturman and also get more sniper rifles. Tarkov shooter part four requires us to get five PMC kills away from 80 meters away. Survive three Woods for some items as well. This would have been such a pog task to get early on. We're getting through that weekly slowly. How far away from another one are we? Four Tarkola, two Squash, and, and ten Hot Rods. So a lot. My only fear of going Lighthouse is if I'm going to try and kill the guys on the roof, and SKS is going to be very tough. Like, we could probably try and do it. I've got a few Tetrises, actually. I don't have anything else for green bats, do I? Wasn't it for use like, green bats needed for rest space or something? Don't need that. I'm not going to do solar panels. Scav case doesn't need them. Bitcoin farm doesn't need them. Shooting range to the next level would actually be solid. Two more motors. Because I think the next level, level three, gives you... Um, I just need two more motors for this. So we should try and focus on getting two more motors as well. Level three gives you better weapon leveling skills. So yeah, I think, I think this is worth doing. And then we just sell. There's 915k. 915k. We could turn a lot of this into um. No, let's just buy like 10,000 euro. 10, 1, 2, 3. There we go. All right, let's give Lighthouse a go. I don't think I need to take the backpack in. Because the only items really, really looting are Vertexes. I'm not excited for this. This is going to end in death, but it is what it is. Is there a barter trade for SVDs? We could probably consider you doing that too. Oh, actually Lighthouse keys, Lighthouse keys. That reminds me. I think we just leave this behind if I remember this rightly. And then it's Marin and House. Yeah, that'll do it. And then cash for the car. Right. Right. Not super keen on this spawn. Save for that daily. Eliminate scavs using a macro of eight. We've got eight rounds in a dream. There's a PMT that always spawns over here, and I'm really worried that we're going to run into one.
What's the mission this raid? We've got about seven cars for this map. That's good news. We want we want them to fully clear that. Yeah. Turkish Prince, thanks for seven months. Then Orc, thanks for the 48 months. Four years, dude. Legend. DM real quick. Four year celebration. <laughs> so, priority is to get the scavs in the chalets. I would say, as we're going over. Long road, so the scavs on the road. Scavs in the chalets. And then we're going to head over to do like the drug trafficking and that. The Wi-Fi cam. If we can get a vertex, we just sprint out. Pretty much. We're actually not, actually not far from max metabolism, which well, hopefully uh, make it that if we run out of hydration again, we don't take damage. One less thing to worry about. Level 41. Door's not open, so we might be able to take advantage of this. Pretty high chance to get like teapot. Come on. Oh, we need euros. Don't really need defuel. Acer? Do we need an Acer for anything? Hide out stuff, but... Sells more than a vase, I guess.
Bro kills are the best for hardcore. Two of them get you an M4. Come on, we want to see some scabs down here. Alright. Great shooting past. That's why they call you the... Best taco player of all time. I actually just farted and it kind of like greased me out a little bit how much it stank. So. I'll say I just gassed myself. Meatball necklace, thanks for three months. Hello? Hmm. I think we go out to the, uh, out and try and do some of the other stuff. Reconnaissance and that. I don't believe reconnaissance needs to be done in the one raid. I think you can do this over multiple raids. So if we can just get on one or two of the roofs, that's that's a win. We are a bear, aren't we? Yeah. So let's go with any rogues as a bonus. Got one of the cottages. So let's try and just get, get drug trafficking done and then reconnaissance. There are two targets. If we waited long enough for uh, I swear I saw a friggin' flash on his head before that. But the kill shot. He was heading out. What did I kill him?
It would be nice. Oh, we're so heavy already. It would be nice to uh, get this armor out, but I think we still just go for drug trafficking. Put that on top of the Bravo. Makarov kill. I doubt we're going to get... Oh, I've got three and a half hours. There's not... We don't really need this done, though. That's the only thing. It's nice to get it done, but it's not needed. How many raids have you done so far? Maybe 400? Okay. This is going to be interesting. I don't know if the SKS is going to be able to kill him in one shot. Oh, I've got two of them. So that'll count two towards the helicopter kill area as well. Easy job. So and then we just need one more. This one. There's one of the guys that came down. He's going to try and push along here. So I'm just going to wait a minute. You know what? Actually, the SKS with the T45M ammo might be able to do decent damage because... The pen might not be that high, but the damage might be able to carry it through. You know what I mean? This is bullshit. I mean, lots of trouble now. Hello? Sir? Is this actually counting to easy job? No, they're not. 
Not close enough. We want to get out of here. We don't want to just fight heaps of scams. Wait, what? Where's he hitting me from? Oh my god. Swarmed. Life is not good. Life is not good. Life is not good. Cool penguin takes this 28 months. Our players cards are gonna come here. what we need to get done done all right what we need to get done did it and so then we can leave ready set fucking broken arm he's gonna be a problem now Sure, that's not at me. I just killed a scav. I know a cheeky spot that works. Let's see if we can do it. <sighs> Don't try this at home, kids. We just go for the drug task and get out. We do reconnaissance another time. Spiders chat, all right.
please don't, please don't, please don't. What the fuck was that? Okay, Cody, thanks for 28 months, dude. He shot me in the armpit. There's no way my armor, like, didn't do anything. He had to hit me in the armpit. Crack at it with a tier 3 sub for 28 months. Can we get some salutes up in the chat for that? Alright, I need AHF 1Ms and 3BTGs. Stims here? No way, man. Like an L or something, or P1 or whatever it's called. Outside of labs, where have people been able to find their 3B TG and AHF1Ms? Bruno the tank, thanks for 15 months. Scavs and Moonshine. Well, mid airdrops is not a bad idea. Whereabouts on Lighthouse have you been finding them? Best way to get a mule? You can craft them, I think. Otherwise, uh, Black Key Code Room Labs. Well, now that airdrops have got found in raid, it's probably worth actually going for them. We're gonna have to do so many lighthouse raids anyway. Killing all those scabs. Lighthouse chalets. Like in duffel bags and stuff? Shoreline med bags? I find that hard to believe. Like, I think it might be possible, but I find it hard to believe. No sleeves. Thanks for the raid. Have an amazing stream, dude. Does, does AHF1Ms and 3BTG spawn in Lexos, though? Sometimes I have good raids. All right. Couple of rogues. I think we've got two tasks on that raid. Found two 3Bs on dead lighthouse player scabs. F in the chat for them. <laughs> scabs on lighthouse are like the, the plague of existence. They just run up to the rogues, they headshot all the rogues, and then they just like, they're frustrating. All right. Drug trafficking is now done. And Huntsman Path Outcast is now done. So we are now down to 53 tasks to go. Outcast is done. And drug trafficking is done. It doesn't look so scary when you are. Uh, Have a spreadsheet <laughs> and you know exactly what, what you've got to do. Well, thanks to that player, we got another gun. What do we need to craft more mag cases? Oof. Are they empty? One is. I wouldn't mind having more mag cases. That means there's a second empty. Empty, empty. Let's do it. Cool. Extra mag cases of dubs. All right, so if we take this off, we can put this on. Unload that. Uh, definitely need more meds. Moonshine out. 
All right, we need two sugars. Um, I think we just turn off the the fuel for now. You can barter Salua for that. Is that just a one for one? It is. Not bad. Bad little barter. We're a little bit low in med, so I don't mind doing that. All right, we go again. That was really good. We've just cut down our lighthouse task required by a bit. We're going to have to just farm the vertexes. Um, we're going to have to farm scavs in the cottages in the long road. Got to get on those rooftops too. I'd like to go to the rooftops once all the, like, has been cleared and I just have to go there. Uh, we got one of the USEX then. We don't need this for uh, the Kappa though. And we got two of that 20 then. Uh, I did have a question for you, Deadpine. Where do you find the stims for samples? I've only got the three BTG and the other one remaining. Pile of meds and Amelia for sugars. Let's do it. Cool. Now we just need a line. Oh, wrong one. So that would be that. One line and we're done. Back by killing players, guys, or dailies, maybe Sanitar as well. I need to kill Sanitar for um for the keys. I'm going to work on Lighthouse for a little bit. I've got the mule done. I need the 3 BTG and the AHF1M. We need to get a very large collection of snipers. Also, thermite and metal parts all trade for snipers. Hmm. Battery SIGs. Around the helicopter for bitty spawns and stims. Do you find AHF1Ms and 3 BTGs there? Around the helicopter? No. Then that's a waste of my time. Appreciate it. But I could have been in the chalets already. He's saying yes. I want to believe you, but I don't. Can. A lot of people saying you can. Sorry. Batteries, as in like car batteries and cigarettes. Also thermite and metal parts. Thermite and metal parts. All right, remember that chat. Thermite, metal parts, batteries and cigs. Is that the Mosin battery trade? We have to get a line as well. Fuck. I don't want to die. Imagine if that doesn't count towards chalet because you just walk outside that bit. They counted. Alright, this is good for scav killing, but not for 
and say... Does that mean someone could be in here? Could be a scav. <sighs> I don't know if we need a VPX. I think we passed that task. VPX is needed for a uh, Bitcoin farm, actually. I'm actually tempted. Mm. Let's check the other chalet. I think we'll probably head out with that VPX just in case we want to go Bitcoin farm. We have so many flash drives. Does that mean any stim can spawn in the med bags? I don't want to go to Merrin. I'll go to Hillside. F to get to Merrin, I have to cross the road. I only check Merrin if I spawn over that side. Firefly, thanks to the Prime, dude. We've already got progress on this t on this raid with the two chalet kills, so. The thing about hardcore is you just want to get small victories that add up. That might even be a player. Yep. Right, son. Lucky spot to loot. On these. Hey, this helmet works for Punisher Part Five, doesn't it? I said weapon parts.
don't think we're too overweight. We're a little bit overweight, but not too overweight. The place inside your armor? Another USEC kill, two chalet kills, and a VPX for Bitcoin farm if we want to go Bitcoin farm level one. Man, that would have been so nice to have a sniper just then. Oh, and we also got the helmet for the quest, yeah. I think I'm going to try and get stash four because of Bitcoin farm. As in, like, you keep the Bitcoin farm going in that four, you get plenty of money to make stash four. Just, just so I understand, sniper rifles. What are we looking at? SV98 cigarettes, D bats, and double A bats from Mosin. All right, so we're looking at D bats and double A bats in cigarettes. <clears throat> Is that all the snipers here? Therapists won't have any. Skier. Wait, what about SVDs? No. I might be scared for that. Alright, so DVL. Mechanical parts and thermites. Horses and teapots. There's a fair few things we can loot to get snipers. M700s are going to be completely saved for hunting trip. And nothing else. But did he have another one? There's the Obrez. Is that like a normal Mosin with a pack of Wilstons? Is that all it is? So this this needs to be saved completely for hunting trip. See, this this is kind of pointless because I can't get a mount on it. I have to find a mount, which makes it just so much more work. All right. Lighthouse is doing well for us. Let's keep going. Try and get more scavs, get some um, long road overpopulation. We want to hear a big battle out on the water treatment and then we go out and do reconnaissance. Easy job. I know how to farm very easily. You just run up and kill those first front scabs and then you just leave all the raiders at the front. Something else that we should consider making a priority is getting Rishala's task done, Sturman and Killer. So then if we run into the goons, we actually progress on them. Because like doing these lighthouse tasks is all well and good, but it doesn't really help us progress far. ET wiki lend release part two. Like we should get stuff that has follow on quests as our priority. 
So when least part two gets his peacekeeping mission. So that's not too bad. I haven't decided how I'm going to do the SVD kills. I'm kind of tempted to like, not lame it, but like find some area that has high traffic and then just wait there. I'm just trying to think top of my head where. Not that I would do it, but actually camp in the um, crash site helicopter on streets. I feel like you'd get a lot of kills there with an SVD. The problem, the problem with that is you don't really get a lot of other, there's not really any other tasks I need done on the street. Something I actually need to do today is I definitely need to get that line today. I want to have the scav case being crafted because I think it takes like two, if not three days to, to craft. Oh, do you not like this spawn? Good news. What we want to hear. Now that were the grenade launchers going off from the water treatment plant. No one would care about someone rushing someone else's spawn and killing them. And like, no one would care about dying to that if it didn't take you long to get back into a game and to kit up again. Like, not saying that, uh, like, something that I think would be really cool to do. Have you guys ever played Rust and you've got the like that wardrobe thing, right? You know how you like, and you can just click the button and it switches straight into that loadout. So like, this would be a thing that I think that they could add. So you, when you're in the, the stash screen, you get this section here, or you could even, it could even include this side as well. And then you have like five tabs of that and you can gear up five lots of like this whole section. And then you go, when you die, you can just go, oh, I'll just switch into that one. And then all that gear is ready to go in that one tab or ready to go. And the cool part about this is if you run in squads, when you die, you could literally be sitting there like setting up the next five, like next few loadouts. So then that way, when you're in a squad, you know, you've got something to do while you're waiting for your mates besides cleaning your stash normally. And then you could gear up so easily. What about presets? Presets is shit. All right. It bugs out. It has so many issues. I've said about that idea I had just then before. And I, I think it would just be... It would just work. Where am I looking for these stims that you guys seem to think spawn around here? I'm either blind or they don't spawn. And it's not overcomplicated. People would easily understand what's going on. I 
had my presets, swap my keys and my cases and put them in my stash. Lewis scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I've had the same thing. I got changed to the docs case on you. Or the sick case. That's a good sign. It means there's no players in the shallow. We might be able to get a vertex out. I'm actually thinking we should be going for Rashala, Killer, and Sturman. Just because of... It unlocks the goons. Watch your labs guide and killed five PMCs in a labs raid after avoiding labs for 1500 hours. Nice work, man. How, can I ask how the guide helped? Just understanding the layout, knowing where the loot is, figuring out how to make it valuable, like what part helped? All of the above. Pretty much whatever to kill. The mechanical Almost parts was one of the snipers. Great series. Happy six months. Well, well, I'm filming Thank ahead you. of it now. Euros, man. Just nothing but euros today. We don't need any more sugar. make another one of the um Ooh. we want to make another one of the uh I've forgotten what I was talking about now but excited for case right here you sure I trade uh, really good for NVGs for insomnia kills? Oh. Do you reckon it's worth crafting moonshine then? With the sugar? I think I saw a VPX or a Vertex. Don't need any more VPXs. Oh, actual literal moonshine for NVG. I got you now. One for one trade. My my issue with nighttime raids, it's not as good for the viewing experience, but I have to do insomnia, so I was gonna do it on reserve. Somehow he shot the back of my head out. Dupe was running an ass ass. That doesn't even make sense. Like he's not doing shooter born in heaven. Oh, maybe he needs like PMC kills on on uh lighthouse. Bruh, if he if he hadn't seen me, 
he was about to die. Maybe he was watching me go through the chalets and everything. Maybe he just like sniping. Yeah, but you're not sniping with an RSS. He's not doing Punisher 4. Nah, he, he must be doing assessment for Lightkeeper. He was a high level. <sighs> Welcome to Hardcore. I wonder if it would be worth doing Packer 6B. Maybe I just, okay, let's do hold. Let my, let my brain finish. Let's do one factory. All right, so the objective is punish your part five. I need nine kills. Could I ask for some advice? I'm stuck in a rut in this game. Uh, play something else or do something differently. So for example, if you are constantly like running geared, try doing like a pistol backpack. Or if you are constantly going on one map and getting thumped on that map, go a different map. You know, just mix it up, have some fun, you know? Deadly did hardcore to Kappa once. I don't know, to be honest, Toast. I've done it once in season five. Why not go with shotgun? Um, cause I can mop up with this. Have you already killed Tegula? I have. I'm level 18, almost only scav. I have 34 million and I'm stuck and I and suck at PVP. What would be the best to improve as a PMC? If you've got 34 million and you're level 18, I would highly suggest do nothing but go factory until you're down to like 10 million. You need you need to force yourself to do some PVP. So either use flea market or whatever. No, I think I think honestly it'd be better to go factory than arena because it can build up his skill sets and try new things. Watch my factory guide as well. It teaches you a lot about different areas of the map that are good to go to. Your motor, it sounds louder. He's shooting. What? I somehow got shot from in front. It was on the pillar on the left? It still would have been in my sight. That had to be a duo then. Because that was that was not the gun that the guy was shooting and he doesn't have a gun on his back. Well, that fucking sucks. How did I not hit him through the wall? I would have been confident that I hit him through the wall then. But...